Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. I'm Dave and I am owner and creator of Mountain Aromatics. Today we are going to make a perfume oil. And a lot of people want to know how to make perfume with an oil base oil carrier in a roll-on so I'm going to teach you how to do that <laughs> so when you are it's a it can be just as simple as one carrier and one essential oil like lavender and you put those together and that is your perfume oil and then it can be very complicated as well but it can just be that easy so here's how I'll this is where there's some teachings and this is where you can kind of create what you are wanting to create so I'm going to try to give you as much information as I can so you will be able to create what you're looking for so um how what I'm going to do I'm going to explain a lot more but what I'm going to do is it I'm going to do one that's pretty simple and I'm going to make it in front of you I'm going to use my MCT medium chain triglycerides which is just like fractionated coconut oil and a formula that I made um, that is undiluted um, part of me wants to say obviously but yeah um, but you can choose an essential oil or a base formula whatever you would like to use so here's information that you need to know you have to put on my glasses because I can't see and but to pick up my phone so to get some information off of it um, the typical roll-on um, I use the one with the steel ball instead of the plastic I just I like them better anyway this is 10 mls okay we're weighing and I want you to weigh so 10 grams are not going to fit in here so when you're formulating for a 10 mil which most of you are for the rollerball what I do is I put in my total that will fit in here is 9.8 grams so that's your entire thing 100% is 9.8 grams total that's going to be in here <clears throat> so I'm going to do a 20% of my concentrate my formula and 80% of the MCT oil Okay, so that's going to mean I need 1.96 grams of my formula and then 7.84 grams of the MTC oil. Okay, I'm going to do it in a minute, but that's the simple thing right there. How you get complicated is... If you want to use something different, like, oh, I want to use olive oil, or which you can, avocado oil, um, anything like, like that, you are going to need to add an additional 0.5% um, of your formula to be a good quality vitamin E 
because that will help prevent it going rancid. Um, yeah, so um, if you're doing this, don't leave it out. You need to, to do that. And a good quality vitamin E that I'm talking about is not going to be clear. It's going to be a darker color. It's going to be actually even darker than this, if you can see this. It'll be about that color or darker. It's not going to be clear. Um, it's a whole nother subject. But anyway, please do that. If, on the other hand, you want to use instead of or with the MCT oil, like jojoba oil, jojoba oil is not an oil, it's a wax. So you don't need to use the vitamin E with MCT oil or the jojoba oil. All other oils, it is in your best interest. I'm going to tell you, do it. Add the 0.5% of your formula as vitamin E. Just do it. Um, yeah, so right there, I just gave you a whole bunch of different things you can do because you can absolutely use the... Um, you can actually, you can use partly just coconut oil that's solid at room temperature. But notice I said partially because it will become solid at room temperature. What good is your roll-on if it's solid and it's not going to go on you? So you, you know, stick to like 10% of your oils being that the solid coconut oil <clears throat> when you are choosing your olive oil unless you want the olive oil aroma you're gonna want to use an olive oil that is clear and has no aroma to it which they kind of all do but it will have a little bit less aroma with it um so just be mindful of those things. Avocado oil, to me, is a better oil to use than olive oil or the coconut oil. And again, with the coconut oil, you're, it's going to have that aroma. And is that really what you're wanting? If it is, okay, make that 10% of your oils. But if it's not, I wouldn't use it. That's why... If you want to do a really high-end, nicer, better performing roll-on oil fragrance, oil perfume, use MCT or jojoba oil or a blend of the two or you will just come out better in the end. That's just, there you go. So, um, trying to think of what else, because this is one of those that it's just complicated because you can do it 500 ways. You can add MCT oil, jojoba oil, um, and avocado oil and olive oil. You can use all those oils. Um, and then, so it's just up to you. And then another throwing a wrench in the whole thing, again, is your level of concentrate. You can choose what you want that to be. Like if I had, if I were making this for a friend of mine, Emily, she does not like a lot of aroma at all. So... I would make hers at a 1% fragrance concentrate. Yeah, I just said 1%. Really, I mean, low where you almost can't smell it. But she will be able to. And that's plenty strong for her. 
and you can go up to in this one I'm about to do a 20% again you need to know what you're putting in here so because is it going to be like you don't want to put 20% of just like bergamot because because why if you don't know there's some studying you need to do there's videos you need to watch but the answer is because it is photosynthesized <laughs> it is it will make your skin extra sensitive to the sun and it will burn your skin when if you're in the sun so where you apply this you need to assume you or the other person that you're making it or selling it to that you need to assume they're going to apply it on the skin and that they're going to be out in the sun you need to assume that and that will depend on how much you put in of what because you need to be under the IFRA standards so that is um, a good guideline and <sighs> that is why it's so complicated because it's just it's just it's just not straightforward you have to do some homework with this with what your concentrate is and what you're using um, so that will depend on what your concentrate level can be a max at but with mine that I'm using today at 20 percent I can use it at that and it will be perfectly fine and not a problem so anyway that is what we are going to do today so you have two options here when you are doing this you can use to be you know if you are one that um, you think you might spill a little bit or whatever you can make it in your in a container in a glass like this and um, instead of trying to put it straight into this and then putting the top off and being done you can make it in this and then pour it in um, so that's just wanted to present that to you in case that's something that you wanted to do but you can absolutely you can just put this on your scale and start right there and the other thing that I think people will probably ask I think it's yeah it's been asked before like do I put the concentrate in first or do I put in the oil first it doesn't matter it, truly it doesn't matter at all um, one thing I will say before I forget so if you are doing the other types of oils in your formula that I said where you need to add 0.5 percent of your formula needs to be a good high quality vitamin E when you're done making your perfume oil you need to make sure you shake it really really well so that vitamin E gets distributed evenly um, and mixed in pretty well so that might be a good time to really using use this and then stir it really well and then put it into your container that you're using so I just wanted to to say that so again this one is they are always 10 mils I mean you can get a smaller ones absolutely but the the regular ones that are out there the size that most people get is going to be a 10 mil and 10 10 ml and that is not the same as grams and we are weighing and I'm going to tell you I want you to weigh your material you should always weigh your materials so that's this will hold about 9.8 you can even go to like to 9.7 if you want to be super careful um, but 9.8 grams because it depends on the oil that you're you that you're using that each oil is weighs just a little bit different so even that part is just 
not exact because they weigh a little bit different. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to well put on my glasses so I can see what I am doing. And <clears throat> so again, mine's just 80 and 20. So I'm going to just do the concentrate first. And that is 1.96 grams. 1.96 grams. And I'm sorry you can't see it, but at least you'll see me doing this part. And yes, I'm not talking because I have to concentrate on the concentrate 1.96 1 1.96 on the dot oh my god that's feel like that's rare but anyway okay tear your scale and then I need to do 7.5 um, that just tells you it's a great thing for you to learn so 7.5 I am going to write that down because I want to remember when I am using the um, MCT oil that I need to bring down my whole batch size. Instead of my batch size being 9.8, I need to bring it down to like a 9.6. In fact, let me just change it. Yes, 9.6 actually will fit your stuff better if you're using the MCT oil. So that's going to be a better fit. So then, let me just get this out the way. Okay. So then this is just going to be... Put on and it fits in really snug it definitely will not leak at all and then you'll just shake this is actually um that I just made one of the fragrance perfume samples that I sent out to my Patreons. I don't know when, I don't remember when, but I really like it. This is strong. So what I wanted to do to, cause here's more information. Um, 
usually there is information in my videos all the way through to the end. So when you're watching my other videos, make sure you watch through to the end because I put all kinds of good information throughout the entire video. Like this right here. When you are creating a fragrance oil like this, that is not a spray, this is the type of oil or this is the type of fragrance or perfume that is more personal, more it's going to be with you. It's not going to be all over the out throughout the room and project everywhere and Yeah, so a lot of times this is a great um, type of thing to make that's actually pretty like a grounding if you wanted to make a grounding, like a centering, a grounding fragrance or an oil, something to put on while you're doing yoga, something to put on while you're meditating, right before you're starting to meditate, that type of thing. A roll-on is a great one to use because it's just going to kind of stay around you and not really project well at all because its core is oil. And a great one, <laughs> not that a lot of people go to the office, but like if you're going to the office and you still want to smell, but you don't want the office to smell that way, using more of a fragrance that stays more with you. Um, this is a, a great thing to do. So I guess I'm kind of saying the opposite as well is if you're looking for projection and you are looking to smell the room up and for this to be for everybody to enjoy, a perfume oil is not for you. That is not what you're looking for. This is more the opposite. So, but this absolutely has its place. So I'll give you more ideas. If you are wanting to, let's say you have kids and, because this is what I always think about. I'll just tell you. So consistency with kids, especially at night bedroom, um, bedtime routines is very important. So one thing you can do to make each child feel special um, and taking time with them and can also help with some relaxation and sleep is making a, an oil based at a very low percentage like a linalol um, or lavender or whatever type of aroma that they like that helps with relaxation and sleep, chamomile rose, um, that type of thing. And it is the linalol that is the particular molecule that is the relaxing part of lavender. That is what makes lavender relaxing is the linalol. So anyway, making them something like this that they can put on, um, you know, age appropriate, meaning, you know, the concentrate you need to watch for how old they are, that type of stuff. That's what I mean by age appropriate, um, can be a really good thing because it's theirs. They are in control of it. They can put it on at night and just, it can be a part of their night routine and can be helpful. So another thing you can do for um, teenagers and kids in junior high and high school is they can have one for concentration that they take to school and you know that it's because it's going to more stay with them and they can rub it in their hands and smell or whatever before a test or while they're 
doing work at school or at home, you know, that type of thing. That's another thing that you can do with this that stays personal. So you can make all types of things like that. So I'm just trying to give you some ideas of different ways these can be used and what they can be used for. So not just a perfume oil, but they it can also be used as, you know, something for sleep or concentration or that type of thing. So I hope and just be sure that you label your stuff because you will forget. And the other thing is, is that I, I just would encourage you to do, I think this is just more for um, people who are just getting into this. You are going to want to get a notebook and I personally give every formula a number. So every one that you do that is different, like with this, I would write down the number, give it a number, and I just, I go in order and write down your exact formula, exactly what you did, because you just will not remember everything. You think that you will, and you just won't. So write it all down, but with a number, and then put a, when your label, when you put your label on there, put that number on there. Will make your life simple. I'm just telling you, do it. So, hope this gives you a lot of ideas, and I appreciate you being here. And I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.